Sorry, John, it's ready? Yeah. Can everyone please rise and join me in the pledge to the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone, and thank you for joining us tonight. When can you call roll? Mr. Burke? Here. Mr. Hand? Here. Mr. Grover? Here. Mrs. Sullivan? Here. Ms. Lesniak? Here. Mr. And Mrs. Vanderwater? Here. Um, can I get a motion to approve the meeting minutes of October 2nd? I'll make that motion. A second. Motion made by Mike, seconded by Bob. Um, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. Any citizen comments? No. Okay, item number one. Um, can I get a motion to approve the vouchers in the amount of 131,858.97? I'll make that motion. I'll second. Motion made by Jenny, seconded by Mike. Any comments? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. Um, approve budget transfers um, dated October 16th, 2024. Um, this was to cover the um, blotter for the engineer and codes office. We approved that at the last meeting, but um, I neglected to do the budget transfer. Can I have a motion? I'll we'll make that motion. A second. Motion made by Bob, seconded by Roger. Any discussions? Um, Jason, where are you with getting your bladder in? Do you have a, um, a delivery date? Uh, no. Not yet? He said two weeks from well, today. Two weeks from today. I guess I do have a delivery date. Oh. Two weeks from today. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not in your office. No, it's not. Not yet. All right. We'll bug you at the next meeting. All right. Um, all those in favor? All right. All right. Any opposed? Motion passes. Um, being 704, can I get a motion to adjourn regular town board meeting and enter into public meeting regarding local law E-2024 regarding the tax cap override? I'll make that motion. I'll second. Motion made by Jen, seconded by Bob. Any comments? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. We are now in public hearing to discuss the local law E 2024 regarding the tax cap override. Um, I have this. Got it. Thanks, though. Um, Nadine, would you like to speak to what this is? Certainly. Um, there is a requirement that local governments not increase taxes by more than 2%. Um, which is actually a bit of a misnomer because it's not a full 2%. Um, but by passing a local law that allows you to override that, um, a municipality can increase taxes by more than 2%. This is often a belts and suspenders approach because the budget process is not complete. They're in the middle of the budget process, so no one knows exactly what the tax levy will be. But you err on the side of caution and you typically uh, pass this local law so that you are you, that you have that freedom during the, the budget process. Thank you. Um, and just to take that a little bit further, this is just in case of because if we didn't pass it and we were to go over that tax cap, we would um, incur penalties and fines by the state. Um, did you have anything you wanted to share? No, just I, I, well, I guess yes. So uh, to Nadine's point, this year it's 1.02 percent. So I uh, and. I don't know that it's ever been to. It's probably about 10 years old now. I was it's thinking about two, that. It's my knowledge. Um, and by the way, the state goes over two every year. Um, <laughs> and this year, <laughs> this year, we have a draft budget while we're adopting this, so we can comfortably say we know we're going to be under the cap by at least $169,235, assuming we make more cuts. To supervisor's point, if you don't do it and something happens where you have to pierce the cap, it could be just an, an emergency expense could pierce it. It would be easy to do, and then you are penalized by the state for doing that. So it is a fail-safe. It always sounds horrible to say we want to override the tax cap because we always want to live within it, and we always have lived within it. 
Those would be my comments. Thank you. Does anyone else have any other comments? Okay. Is there anyone in the audience that wishes to speak in favor of the um, local law? I should say Judy or Dave, do you have <laughs> <laughs> Judy or Dave. Dave, do you want to speak against <laughs> the local law? Hearing none, can I get a motion to close the public hearing? Make a motion. Motion made by Mike, uh, seconded by Bob. Any comments? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? We are back in regular town board meeting. Can I get a motion to approve Local Law E 2024 um, for the tax levy tax cap override? I'll make that motion. I'll second. Motion made by Jenny, seconded by Darcy. Any comments? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Local Law E 2024 is approved. We don't have to vote on it. Roll call. Yes, sorry. sorry. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Burke? Aye. Mr. Hand? Yep. Mr. Grover? Yes. Mrs. Sullivan? Yes. Mrs. Lysanne? Yes. Mrs. Vanderwater? Yes. <coughs> Thanks, Bob. <coughs> Um, item number five is to approve the creation of Deputy Codes Officer full-time position on our civil service roster. I'll make that motion. I will second. Motion made by Jenny, seconded by Bob. Um, I'll just speak to this very briefly. Um, we currently have a part-time uh, Deputy Codes Officer position on our civil service roster and we wanted to hire a full-time um, our codes office currently has a part-time code enforcement officer and we want to kind of man up that office so there's um, folks available in that office Monday through Friday during regular work hours. So um, our best plan B in lieu of um, a full-time code enforcement officer was to hire a deputy. So um, we're thrilled with the candidate that we selected. So. I will go to the approval for the position and then we'll talk more about him on the next item. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. So item number six is to appoint Tom Fuzia as full-time Deputy Codes Enforcement Officer at the pay of $30 an hour starting on October 28th, 2024. As I was saying, we're thrilled with this candidate. He comes to us. Um, with a huge background in um, fire safety. He also is um, has some background with building inspection. I think he's gonna be a great fit with that office, so we're excited that we can bring him on board. Um, can I get a motion to approve the appointment? I'll make that motion. I'll second. Motion made by Mike, seconded by Jenny. Any other comments? It's gonna be good to finally have a code enforcement. Staffed up. Staffed. Yes. I'm looking forward to it. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. Um, I have a pencil in number seven. Um, Mike Burke was appointed to the board in August, Mike? June. June. And he had not been appointed to any committees, and we don't want you to feel neglected, Mike. So we're going to appoint you to the facility, facilities committee and the public safety committee. <laughs> um, does that need an approve a motion to approve? Why not? You usually do that during. <coughs> yeah. So go ahead. That's I'll make a motion thinking. to um, appoint Mr. Burke to facilities and public safety. And I'll second that. Great. Motion made by Darcy, seconded by Bob. Any other comments? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passes. Um, and I have a pencil in number seven. I would like to set a public hearing for November 6th for um, approval of our 2025 budget. <coughs> and I've already begged Darcy to do the presentation. And she agreed. <laughs> Um, so can I get a motion to schedule that public second. hearing? I'll make it. I'll second. Motion made by Jenny, seconded by Roger. Any other comments? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. Thanks, Darcy, for doing that. Sure. <coughs> so
So that is all I have tonight. Um, Councilor and committee reports. Bob, I'll start with you. I have nothing tonight. Thank you. Darcy? I have nothing. Thank you. Jenny? I had a Canwoods meeting on October 3rd, uh, board meeting. They're still looking for a treasurer. Just wanted to remind everybody that the wreath sale will be coming up very shortly in November and that on November 30th is the Parade of Lights in the town. I love that. Thank you. Thanks, Jen. Um, Roger. I don't have anything. Fresh back from Italy. You've been on vacation too long. <laughs> Smells like olive oil. <laughs> Michael, do you have anything? No, no. Okay. We'll get you going on those committees so you can have something to chat about. Um, supervisor comments. Uh, I'll just mention that we are scheduled interviews for the rec supervisor position those are going to go on next week and we have done some preliminary interviews for the highway superintendent position um and more to come on both of those positions and there's still a vacancy at highway too yeah. and there's still a vacancy at highway <laughs> um engineer any comments i have nothing to see doug i skipped over you nothing to see <laughs> nadine nothing Okay, well that's short and sweet. Um, can I get a, a motion to go into executive session? Yes, ma'am. Um, for um, personnel? Yeah, personnel matter. Um, I don't With expect no action. any action tonight. Um, so can I get a motion to go in exec session? I'll make a motion. Oh, second. Motion made by Bob, seconded by Mike. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Thank you everyone for coming tonight.